hello student i hope all of you are doing well today we're going to study about uh, the changes that have been brought in the states of matter or how one state of matter gets changed into the other state of matter i hope you all are familiar with the different states of matter let's just quickly look at how different states have different arrangements or the pattern of the molecules if you look at uh, the screen and if you just look at how uh, the solid particles have tightly held molecules and uh, they have a proper sequence a proper pattern uh, similarly if you just like you know move towards the arrangement of molecules in a liquid um, state you would be clearly able to distinguish how uh, the molecules or the particles of a liquid are scattered they are not in a proper sequence now if we move towards uh, the gas particles you'll be able to identify that uh, the mo molecules in a gas uh, particle are actually very uh, uh, scattered and they have no uh, bond in between they are just moving that that's one of the reasons that the uh, gas do not appear to have a specific shape if we look at the shape of a solid molecule you must you, like when you look at the solids around you, you you can easily see that different solids have different shapes and once you pour or you try to shift one solid into the other one it's really difficult to fix or to accommodate a bigger or a larger piece of solid into a smaller one that's because of its rigid shape which is definitely because of the uh, molecular arrangements of solid and if we uh, look at the liquids liquids uh, tend to take the shape of the container we pour them into and that's uh, completely due to uh, the arrangements of the molecules that's there in the liquids and we've already discussed how the molecules or molecular arrangement in uh, gases are let's move towards uh, a few questions that i want you all to think of and uh, i'll be waiting to see your responses in the comment box i'll read out the questions for you the first one says what happens to ice cream if you do not eat it quickly on a hot summer day second one is when a glass of water with ice cubes is left on a table for some time what happens to the ice cubes what happens to the outer surface of the glass the third question is, have you ever noticed what happens to frozen objects as they heat up? You must have seen many uh, objects being heated up and uh, let's see what your responses are. The last question that I want you all to think of and answer me in the comment box uh, is what happens to the amount of a substance if it is changed from a solid to a liquid? okay uh you all will have plenty of time to think of and answer me let's just move towards the next uh slide and see what actually is the basic reason behind changes in the states of matter it is basically because of the transfer of heat you all are familiar uh, that heat tra uh, travels from one uh, side to the other one now for instance you have a cup of hot water and you when you tend to put it outside in the room and uh, and the temperature of the glass decreases and uh, that is mainly because the surrounding has less heat as compared to that of the glass which makes the heat from the glass to travel to its surroundings. Let's move on uh, to the next slide and see the process of melting. We uh, basically have observed throughout our lives the two very common phenomena. The one is melting and the other one is freezing. We've just discussed um, that the heat travels from a hotter place to a colder side of uh, the object to attain equilibrium or to attain a state where the temperature on both the sides uh, become equal or they like attain a specific temperature uh, which can't be changed any longer. Why? What actually basically happens uh, when an object uh, starts melting? If you, uh, for instance, keep an ice cube outside at room temperature, you would observe after maybe uh, 5 to 10 minutes that the ice cube would start melting. That's because the heat from the surrounding, the temperature of the room is much more as compared to that of the ice cube. So the heat from the room would start traveling towards the ice cube and uh, as the heat 
heat uh, reaches the ice cube and it absorbs the heat the temperature would increase and um, the cubes would start melting uh, let's just uh, look at another phenomenon which is just contrary to what we have just discussed uh, and it's freezing if you uh, for instance put a cup of water in freezer you would see after a few hours that the water the liquid state of uh, water has changed or turned into uh, the frozen one which is actually because the temperature of the water that you had kept in the freezer was much more than um, that of the surrounding inside the freezer and the heat from the uh, uh, cup traveled towards its surrounding and resulted in uh, uh, lowering of of the temperature in the glass and uh, ultimately the liquid state turned into the solid one i hope uh, melting and freezing is much more clear to you now uh, there are a few uh, uh, questions again that i want you all to think of and uh, respond to me in the comment box the first one is all of you uh, must be familiar with snow or a snowman so what actually snow is what formulates snow uh, then what happened to a snow as the temperature increased so like you all must have heard of how uh, the glaciers have been melting over the time uh, you can even uh, relate this to the melting of glaciers and uh, give me all the possible uh, ways that you can uh, figure out that are the reason or are, are causing the melting of glaciers the last thing that i would want you all to think of is why uh, the snowman appear to get smaller what was really happening to him Thank you so much. I hope all of you must have understood it.